I'm Adam Peacock and I'm going to tell you about some of the new features in Mech Designer 6. We have had a lot of requests asking for tools to help with reverse engineering cams. Most companies will refurbish their machinery but run into problems when the OEM that supplied it no longer offers support. If you can measure the profile of your old cam either with a coordinate measurement machine or with a device that you have developed yourselves we have developed some tools to help you recreate either the original cram cam or recreate a cam that is functionally the same as the original but with a better motion. I'll start with the point cloud tool. This allows you to attach your measured point cloud to any part in Mech Designer. I click the point cloud button and it prompts me to select a part to add the point cloud to. Next I double click on the point cloud in the assembly tree to edit it. Now I can select a file containing the measured data. In this case the data is in two columns angle versus cam radius. After selecting the file I can specify the format of the data. Now I can import the data into the point cloud element. You can also specify the units of the imported data and move the origin of the data relative to the part coordinate system. I will change the background color so that you can see the cam points that you have just imported. <coughs> now we start the process of creating a cam profile by fitting a finite Fourier series to the measured data. We double click on the point cloud to edit it and change the tab sheet to look at charts. Here we see the measured data plotted as a graph of radius against cam angle. Superimposed on the measured data is the fitted data. We can control the number of harmonics to be included in the Fourier series fit and you can see that as I change the harmonic content so the fitted data varies in quality. If you know the measurement accuracy of the cam data, then you can use the goodness of fit parameter to give you an idea of how many harmonics you need to model your data. If you use too many harmonics, you may start fitting your data to noise in your measured data. So when your goodness of fit is close to one, little is to be gained by using more and more harmonics. You can now display your fitted Fourier cam in the graphic area and compare it with the measured data. To help mainly with the point to cloud element, we have added what's called a magnet joint. This joint forces a roller to clamp itself, like a magnet, to a profile or a point cloud. You can use it to help identify the intended motion of the cam profile that you have just measured and attached to a point cloud. You will need to know the kinematic geometry of the mechanism being driven by the cam to use its full power. In this case I will use it to model the cam measurement system. This used a cam roller on a slider connected to a displacement sensor and an encoder on the camshaft. The magnet joint needs a profile or point cloud to follow, a motion dimension to drive and a roller which must have a profile added. Now I'm ready to add the magnet joint. As soon as the joint is completed, the joint becomes active and the roller will snap to the cam point cloud profile. You can use any profile if you want, it does not need to be a point cloud. Now we can edit the magnet joint. Because we are modeling the measurement system, we need to change the contact position. The displacement sensor is measuring the motion at the center of the roller. So we can change the radius to zero. The roller center will now follow the profile. The magnet joint calculates all the velocities and accelerations. 
So we can now create a cam if we know the roller diameter. We do this by adding a cam to the camshaft and selecting the roller profile. The cam is then created. We can take the process further and improve the motion design of our measured cam. The first step is to use the motion joint to make a motion dimension generate a motion profile from our Fourier fitted cam. This we do by adding a graph and graphing the position, velocity and acceleration of the magnet joint driven motion dimension. We can cut the data directly from the graph dialog and paste it into an overlay in Motion Designer. We can then create a motion that closely follows the precision points of our fitted motion. I've already manually edited a motion that matches the overlay. You can now use the power of Motion Designer and Mech Designer to improve your motion design and keep the original precision points. To summarise, we have shown you how to import measured cam data and attach it to a part using the point cloud element, use the data fitting functionality to create a best fit cam using a harmonic series, connect a magnet joint to follow the fitted cam, and then using the kinematic properties of the magnet joint to generate a source motion that you can then use to make your new cam.